So, we are almost at the end of our course plan and definitely which is my end point in fact, it is your I mean point of starting. So, my end point means your beginning uh, in fact, you have to start it. Now, anyway, so this is the concluding section session and in this sessions we are going to discuss about two more interesting projects. So, that these projects you can take as a challenge and then try to implement these projects and definitely I am sure that if you can take this project and then you will enjoy a lot. Now, let us have the discussion to the project idea. Uh, this is the tenth program projects and as the name uh, that you can see here uh, the name of the project is course management systems. Uh, you probably know exactly it is managing the course, what is the course whenever students attend some classes and take some enrollment in a course he become the participants uh, participants of the course. Then there is a teacher called the course coordinator who basically control many information about right say what are the marks obtained by each student then grading and so many these things are there. Now, in this project similar kind of things needs to be maintained. So, that the course related information needs to be stored and then the user can enter the marks and you can process the results the results can be available the user can see the teacher can see a student also can see whatever it is there. So, many other improvement can be done it is a starting point of the project and then you can extend this project uh, okay, uh, adding some idea from your side as well as. Now, let us see exactly for this project what is the skill set that you should have. You have to implement this project using Java Swing as it is proposed here then JDBC and networking that knowledge is required so that you can implement this project. Now, idea about this project let us come to the idea. So, we have to maintain a server database this server database will store a number of uh, entries it is basically number of tables I can say each tables for each subject. Say suppose one students taking physics, maths, chemistry then three tables are to be maintained. It may be that all students same students are not taking all the subjects. So, the there should be another one table also which include all the students under this particular uh, year or semester who are active uh, in a academic program. So, there will be a list of student the students information and then marks obtained by different students in different courses. So, this is the table or database that needs to be maintained and here the administrator can maintain this information otherwise you can develop one interface for which database can be entered whatever the projects that you have already some idea can be applied here also. But I am thinking that all the database table is entered by the administrator. So, here you, you do not have any burden or any responsibility for this. So, create a GUI program therefore, here the teacher can enter the marks by obtained by the students in a in the course he has offered. So, here the facilities that will be available. So, the user can run a program once the user run the program an interface will appear and using this interface the user can enter the marks obtain the by the different subjects who attended the course. And then there will be a computation aspects the results of the results stored in the database will be compiled for either for each student or for each course whatever the way that will be decided and then accordingly the results will be compared result means grading can be done depending some rule base say if marks is greater than 90 percent then he should be awarded E x grade if 80 to 90 percent A grade or this kind of grading composition you can decide and implement it. So, so the competing server will be there which will basically do all this competition task not in the teacher's machine. So, teacher's uh, machine is the another machine the server will compute all these things another machine and then database which, which will be stored may be in the different machine not the same server machine. We will assuming that database can be maintained in a different server. So, there are three layer architecture as we see from the user side from the uh, server side computation and then from the another server from the storing the database. Anyway, so, now we will consider for simplicity maintain 
a database server in some machine which is connected to the net and the database server should contains uh, two tables as we have mentioned here as a practice purpose you can just simply add uh, add on uh, mode only you can add some other subjects other things also. So, student table is there math maths maths uh, subjects uh, mathematics table is there and physics table is there three tables are to be maintained to in the MySQL server. Then whenever the database administrator will maintain this table we have to fix the table database. So, I have given an idea about how the database table look like. So, for the students it will have the role and name and then we have given the type that our role is of uh, type integer of size 10, then name is varchar of size 50 and then roll number is the primary key here and then this is the other is there. Now, similarly for the maths role attendance and then marks of 10 will be uh, to be added here. Similarly, physics also the name roll number and the marks needs to be maintained here. In this side marks is not shown here, but you have to add the marks they are also in this entry. Anyway, so, these are the different entries are to be there and uh, so GUI program uh, this is a typical look I am not necessary that you have to follow the same look if you have some better aesthetic sense then you can design the layout of your own and then you can use it. So, you can develop the layout in such a way that user may be say teacher from his own mobile also can access this program. So, browser should be according to that way only. So, the or GUI window will be planned this way. So, that it is compatible to anywhere actually there. Anyway, so first task in this project is basically after the database is created this is the first task. Our second task is basically to create the GUI uh, programs for uh, data entry interface for the teacher and uh, so, so I have already told you this is the look of the teacher interface is there here, here user will enter the student name and then enter the marks and everything and then order and everything if you want to face the data it will show in which order it will get it and then rank and everything will be there. Otherwise you can decide some uh, other interface of your own also so that user can uh, use it and then can go on adding the data into the system. Now once the user enter the data it will go directly to the computing server and then from the computing server it will go to the uh, my SQL database that user or any user cannot directly access the database. So, database is a backend server we can say and then at the so this is the database server at the backend of computing server and at the front end the user program. So, that user interface is there which will communicate to the computing server which can be again communicate to the backend server like this. Now, so now next is data processing mechanism here the computing server will take care computing server can access the database server by means of program and then depending on the user requirement either preparing the results or sorting of the marks based on some ascending or descending order and many other utilities that can be added here in the computing server. So, this is the data processing mechanisms are there. Now, I will just quickly brief about the data processing mechanism that you should follow here. Now, here the step by step. So, there is a socket program that you have to develop and we can say is a client socket and then server socket is basically at the server end which will basically computing aspects will be there and then MySQL the server is there. So, there are three entities three computing entities one is the client server and then database server are to be there in this system. And then the teacher Okay, who can enter the marks it is there. So, a teacher will be there who can enter the marks. So, from the GUI interface here the teacher will enter the marks here and then once the teacher enter the marks it will go to the client sockets. These sockets can run in the same machine or like it is actually basically it should run in the same machine. Once the result is goes there it will go to the server socket whatever the in, in data that user ha, that teacher has populated it will go to the server then server will send it to the MySQL server through JDBC connectivity. Now, again if user wants to retrieve something any user say student or any other teacher then another GUI should be developed there then through the same GUI it sends a request go to the computing server first then MySQL and the MySQL return the result computing server will process according to the requirement or some 
retrieval information that is there and then it will go to the so client sockets and then finally, it will display on the user's machine. So, this is basically the idea about how the flow of data will take place from uh, user to the system itself as the this is the three tier architecture as I told you. So, this basically look like a three tier architecture as it is shown here. So, this is basically the architecture that you have to consider for in this project actually and this architecture has been planned little bit typically level I should say bit high because here so many tires are to be implemented and then they should be properly synchronized communicates, but it is only for the experienced user and they can do it easily and it is not the very heavy job actually you can make the cartel the job according to your own time and then knack and interest you can do it the minimum version of it also. So, this is about the our 10th projects and our the next project and this is the most challenging project. Uh, challenging project in the sense that it is uh, because a lot of other things are to be exercised and then your the knowledge level has to be highly applied here and the program is called Java Word Pro Duo. So, here the name is not complete here. So, Java Word Pro Duo this is the project actually that we are going to discuss. Now, let us see what is the project idea so that you can understand what exactly this project it is and this project is as the name implies Word Pro stands for Word Processing and Duo means it will do more than one job actually at the same time. So, that is why it is Duo. Now, for this project uh, the skill set that you should consider here showing event handling, encapsulation handling that is all. It is no network involved, it is no JDBC involved, no other and, uh, what is called the things involved only the GUI and the programming is involved. Now, so this is the okay as the smallest level, but lot of other things. So, if you want to make yourself is a I mean great swing programmer, then this project really uh, you can think for as a good uh, what is called the task actually is a good challenge uh, for you. Now, let us see what is the idea of the project. So, as I have mentioned that this project is basically the word processing is there. So, we have to develop word processing editor you are already familiar with some word processing editor that most probably you have used while you are compiling you are typing your program for example, notepad plus plus word pad notepad these are the word. So, similar kind of software you have to develop it is also I mean the problem is solved actually, but from your side whether you have solved this problem if the answer is no then there is a challenge that how you can develop such a word processing document document editor or word processing editor text editor we can say like that. So, it is not the big job it is a simple application of Java showing can help you to do the job very easily actually. Now, next is that you have to develop a GUI program for the word pro. So, it is very nice looking uh, graphical in user interface to be developed you have to have a little bit uh, okay, some idea. So, that whatever the existing word processor is there uh, how your software can be comparable to them. So, you can add few more things so that you can say that yeah you see this is the things that is my program where the other program it does not have this kind of things are there. So, coloring and so many other things also you can add it if you can do it it is not the big job it is not an impossible it is practically feasible. So, you can do it only you have to think about that what you want to do and then think about how this can be done. So, this what and how resolve uh, okay, if you re can resolve this what and how questions then you can solve this problem very easily. So, that is why there is a lot of customization and moreover the main customization is that how this word processing system can be used for both the con doc composing a document as well as is a calculator purpose. So, idea it is there and if you can can if you can then such a document I mean word processing document can be also implemented compatible to any Indian language that is also a challenging job and that is also a very beautiful uh, project also and the calculator also can be 
Okay, so if it is an Indian language compatible, maybe say in Hindi or in Bengali, then you can do it typing in Bengali or Hindi like this one. So, job is okay, it is not a very uh, novel of its kind, but it is a challenging as well as and it will give a lot of experience and learning scope. So, that you can use to develop more other more advanced and sophisticated program in different application and moreover you, if you develop in here you can use it in the windows uh, android operating system if you can develop it here you can use it in a mac os if you can develop in for the desktop you can use also in for laptop or tabloid or it is in by notebook or it is in a mobile handset smartphone whatever it is there so scope is very high application potential is also heavy now let's see how it look like in the first phase let's step by step if you do it then job become easier you should not try to do all the things together one by one so first you have to see how a canvas sort of thing which basically appear is a windows should be given to the user so that user can type anything whatever the user will type it will appear on the canvas itself so this is basically add a editing panel or frame look like. So, a typical look as it is shown here you have to implement like this. Then you have to add on functionalities into this frame one by one as you see here we have added one functionality is called the file. You can see any or processing what are the menus are there you can go on adding all those things one by one. On the file it is there it will give new open save or exit this kind of things are there. So, this file open if it is there now if you want to save it for example, here then it will ask that okay, save or do not save or cancel whatever it is there. So, after adding this file option you can add few more buttons also there and then you can add it is for example, after file edit edit means it can have the editing facilities like uh, editing cut paste and then select all whatever the things are there you can apply it here. So, here basically event handling for each components if you add one by one go on adding test the program and go to the next step and so on so on this way you can see uh, after few efforts you can develop a nice document uh, word pro program like. Then our next version is that uh, so input as I told you it should be used for a dual purpose dual means text editing. So, if it is text editing then fine now whenever is a text editor from where you can type it. So, obviously you use the standard keyboard which is already attached with the things, but in some mobile environment there is no standard keyboard. So, if you want to use it for the mobile setting then how you can do that. So, for these things you can develop one software keyboard even the software keyboard also can be used using your lap laptop or using your uh, PC also if your PC or laptop touch enable. So, uh, after touching also it can be done or clicking also by mouse pointing also it can be done whatever it is there. So, keyboard and then keyboard has a software keyboard as well as the hardware keyboard is compatible to there. Now, so for the software keyboard it is there I have given a layout of the software keyboard once the user select that system keyboard or virtual keyboard I mean software keyboard then this kind of things will appear for the user. So, that user can click it or touch it and then accordingly the text will be entered and then it will display on the screen. So, this is the one layout and this basically obviously little bit complex it is not so simple as the calculator panel is there it is very difficult it is not difficult actually it is only voluminous because so many keys are involved and not all keys are of equal size there may be function keys also which I have not mentioned here you can do again the caps key click also caps is there also numeric is there also punctuation keys are there also all those things will be uh, settled it out, but everything is possible writing a simple software program in fact and using Java it is not a very difficult job for any programmer. And then the software keyboard that you have developed also can be utilized to use as a calculator. So, calculator for the display here it is there and then the you see in whenever you use as a calculator here. So, there is a calculator button will be there if you select it 
then it will act as a calculator. In this case, all the button will be in a disabled stage, so no response will be there, no event operations will be there. However, all the calculator related buttons will be there and then you can use it. And more important thing is that you can little bit improve this calculator by adding some more I mean character button also there, so that some expression say suppose a equals to 5, b equals to 10 and c equals to 100 if you add and then you can express say a star b plus c divided by a plus b plus c. This kind of expression also can be carried out using this calculator e easily. So, this is the advantage of this calculator in addition to the calculator for text entry and really very useful because you will get the two facilities in the same product that is why this product is called the duo project. Anyway, so we have discussed about uh, many other things which is related to this then I am almost at the concluding part, but before going to this concluding portion I want to make one more things very clear that whatever the programs that we have used in our entire throughout the entire course those programs are available and the link I have given in these slides you can see the link. So, it is basically https then csc.iitkgp.ac.in then slash d samanto. So, this is the link actually as we see in this link if you follow then you will find one html page there which contains all the necessary informations those I have used in this course also it is already there it is a very huge resource and then you can get all the documents from there also. In addition to this resource where all the programs that I have used I have already deposited there you should download all the program and run it just okay try to run it if you run it then you can learn it if you do not nurture this program you will not be there only learning theory syntax and everything will help will not help you to learn it much more. And then another thing is that in the first introduction slides in the first lectures you can note I have given one tutorial link of the website. So, it is called the Java tutorial from the Oracle you can even the, from the Google search engine type that Java tutorial from Oracle. So, it will give the link. So, it is basically st uh, standard edition is there and the oracle is the one another party of now uh, developing this java system actually they are they are a part of the java development team. So, now they maintain a very nice uh, link nice web page which basically gives for all aspects of the java programming with examples and all the documents. So, that you can consider as a complement to this uh, uh, course learning whatever you are if you find any difficulties to learn from my delivery then you can consult quickly there and you can learn also like that. Another important resource that you should consider so that you can hone your skill is basically Java API. Now, Java API is very important very important because if you know the different methods belongs to the different class then you can try to apply it. But I have not mentioned all the methods that can be belongs to a particular class for example, string under the string there may be say 100 methods are there. How so many methods can be discussed in a short uh, duration of half an hour lectures or like that I, I did not do that. However, you can have all the methods they are constructors the return type the fields and then description everything that is also from the Java Oracle sites again the same Oracle website it is you can follow it will give you all the information about. So, you can give a type like Java API from Oracle. So, it will give all the packages whatever the it is and it is basically the genuine source the source from the developer itself. So, source from the creator itself. So, so this is a very important source that you can think about it and as I told you already. So, I am almost at the end point and I told you my end point is not ok is my end point is basically your uh, starting point for your things are. So, with these things I would like to conclude this course here and then I obviously wish you all the best and ever success in your career and also I want to convey my thanks to all of you for attending this course and thanks for your attention throughout this long journey. 
I wish you all the very best for the career's point of view from your development point of view. Okay, thank you very much.